welcome in. Welcome in to WWPT 90.3 FM. Zach Brody joined alongside Devin Jarvis for this FCAC matchup between the Staples Records and the Stanford Black Knights. Both teams coming in at strong winning records. Devin, tell us about their recent play. Well, Zach, they both just came off a close loss. Staples went off against Danbury this last Tuesday, ended up losing the game by nine, but kept it close to the fourth. And he's going into that fourth quarter up by 10 points. They're looking for some redemption in, in this game. They're at seven and one right now. They can bring it back, advance to eight and one. On the other side of things, the Stanford Black Knights plus by just two points to the board to board. And they kept it close, 71 to 69 in that game. Also on Tuesday, they sit at five and three on the season. Yeah, but despite both of those losses, both teams, you said, winning records, easily could make a push deep in the FCAC playoffs. Now to the coaches, where Staples is dealing with a first-year head coach, Dave Goldshore. That's right, Dave Goldshore, first-year head coach, and he's leading them to, like I said, a 7-1 record. This is one of the best records that Staples basketball has had in recent memory, and it's really, really great to see. It's been a seamless transition from Coach Devine, who was there last year, he retired his position, and this is the assistant coach, Dave Goldshore, took over. On the other side of things, Daniel Couture is now in his fourth season at the Stanford Black Knights head coach. He's sitting at 5 and 3 right now. This is his tied best start of the season. He matched this one last year, but this was as far as he went. If he wins this game tonight, he can advance himself to the best record he's ever had as the Black Knights head coach. Now I want to go back to Coach Goldshore. Interestingly enough, has transitioned the program and the players seem to be buying in. They have what's called a varsity development team. Essentially, the young guys are practicing with the varsity team, not necessarily suiting up, but they're starting to build that young crew and turn in to a program that hopefully one day will become one of the best in the FCA. And Zach, young crew is all what this team is about. I mean, we talk about the depth on this squad. You dealt with Bennett, who's been kind of a six-man uh, type guy for the records. He's averaging, I think it's 17 minutes a game right now coming off the bench. That's more than the person who's starting in front of him. And then also, Sam Clack, the freshman, he's seen the third most points per game on this record squad this season, averaging a ton of minutes a game. And tonight, he's starting a big story. Gavin Rothenberg hurt his wrist in the Danbury game on Tuesday. He's going up for a layup. and got chased down, blocked from behind, pushed over, landed on that wrist. He might be out for the next four weeks. Now it's time to see guys step up. And it'll be interesting to see what Coach Goldshore does with these guards. Because aside from those two young guns, you also have a lot of depth at the guard position. You have guys, obviously Charlie Honig who starts. You also have Will Holloman who's seen a few valuable minutes. And you got even more depth with Rylan Norley, Ty Levine. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays this injury in a unique situation Staples has yet to face. Now on to the keys of the game. Staples, Danbury, excuse me, Staples, Stanford have both learned a lot about each other. Devin, what are we looking for today? To start off with Staples, Staples has to stop the ball getting going early. Don't let Stanford get ahead and quickly get to that lead. We're going to have to catch up for the remainder of the game. They're good defensively in Stanford. Stanford can maintain a lead if they need to. And like we just talked about, no Gavin Rothenberg. The guards need to step up. And I'm looking at you, Sam Clack. You're starting tonight. You're a freshman. You have some big shoes to fill. Let's see how he can take it. On the other side of things, Stanford. Seems like I have to say this every time any team goes against Chris Ajak, but it's containing the big man. Chris Ajak, one of the best players in the entire FCAC, maybe even the state. They need to guard him closely defensively, shut him down in the paint, and they have some big guys on that court. They might have an opportunity to keep it under what he's been performing lately, but they need to force the guards to make a play. Clacko, Pony, Sale, I can go on. There's so many on this team. Stanford needs to contain Chris Ajak. You know, when you talk about that on the other side of things, Stanford is a big team, also really bouncy, so going to be tough for Staples to contain. Staples had a little bit of difficulty last game dealing with all the size in Danbury. They're not going to face it to the same extent, but Stanford, absolutely a big team. Absolutely. I think we're going to call it that for now. We'll be back on in just a minute. It's a minute 30 until tip-off, so uh, national anthem and... National Anthem and we'll be back on soon.
Right. It's Shapiro. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's FCAC basketball game between the Black Knights of uh, Stanford High School and the Rutgers of Staples High. Before the introduction of the starting fives, we ask you to please rise, face the flag as Staples Junior Sophia Rapp sings, Sophia Pat sings our national anthem. WWPT 90.3 FM, Zach Brody joined alongside Devin Jarvis for this Staples Wreckers Stanford Black Knights FCAC matchup. Tip off just about to get underway as the teams are being introduced. So many talking points here, but the highlight of the day, Staples starter Gavin Rothenberg out with an injury. And Jarvis, we're talking about the guards that need to step up. What are you looking for from Black Knights? Flacco's taking up that starting role now. We need to see what he can do as a starter. We saw it see his production. The bench has been so, so good this season. Averaging, uh, averaging 7.5 points a game. That's good on the team. And he has 17 points a game. That's more than Gavin has this season. So he's already played such a significant role. I think he's going to fit right in. I think he has a monster game tonight. Staying on the floor for the team's the entire game. He's going to have some fun. And it's interesting to point out because as we talk about Flacco, as we talk about Udell, as we repeat this theme of young guys on the court, of development for this Staples program, they're ranked sixth in the state right now. Let that sink in, sixth in the state. Staples hasn't seen a ranking like that in a long time. And, you know, whatever any, you know, rankers, whoever say they are, at seven and one, it's a really impressive start and you gotta give a lot of credit working those young guys in, and you just think this momentum has to continue with so many young guys on the floor. And when you can't overlook what Staples has done so far this season, they've hit the rush and rough patch of that schedule. They've played Red and Shoot, they've played Richmond, they've played Danbury, they've played Buchanan, they have this, they have Ward, Wilson, and St. Joseph left, and those are more let, are easier opponents than what they've faced so far this season. I really like what they've done so far. I think they carry it out. They're going to have a fantastic season. Exactly. The best we've seen in the records in a long, long time. And another important note, Devin, the Staples Super fans. Sounds comical, but hear this out. They have really showed up to all the big away matches, as well as the home matches, 
And coming from the players, it's made a monumental impact. In fact, I was asked to the second against the Red Team. I got one by 18. I count, I ask many players, and I get the same response every time how much the student section helped them. So we are just about way. Chris Zajac and Christopher Nana tipping off. Chris Zajac gets his own tip. Staples will start with possession. Cody Sale on the left wing. Looking for Zajac at the top. Now Honig with it. Taking his time to set up. Honig, the captain of this team, has been really strong this week. Finds Clacko on the wing. Back to Honig up top. He'll drive and be called for the early travel. It'll be a turnover. Stanford will take possession. How would you like to see was a questionable call, maybe just barely a travel, but they recover. Ijai Presley taking it up for the Black Knights. So good. Front on this Black Knights team from the Jordan this Quick turnover for him. That'll give it right back to Staples. Charlie Honig being guarded up top. High pressure from the Knights. Cody Sale fakes a deep three into Zajac. Back to the top at Charlie Honig nails a three, top of the key. That's the good way to get things started. Staples up 3-0 right now. You don't often see those from Honig, but he nails that one. Hi. Nana with it up top. Good defense there from Glacko as he tips it away. The Knights, a quick timeout. And a little bit sloppy there from the Knights. You saw a turnover on the first play, and you saw two tip passes on the second and third. Offensively, the Knights have struggled. Even on that first possession, pressing it looking for a man on the right, got it out of bounds. But also, you see the staple, the staple's good next person up. Kind of getting away, trying to be there at the right time to make those feet. I love that play from back on that last position, trying to get away. And it'll be interesting to see whether Staples continues in Banner Zone. They're obviously playing small. It'll be interesting to see how they match up one on one. It's Presley back with it at the top of the key. Kicks it to the side, Connors. And it down low, and another turnover for the Black Knights. We haven't seen it just down their footing there. But it will come. I mean, Black Knights, they're a solid team, five and three, and they've competed with some really strong ones. They beat St. Joseph earlier in the season by a decent margin. You can expect a good competition. And a deep three from Cody Sale, in and out. The rebound, and that's good. Picking up trash as Ethan Kukier gets Staples out to a quick 2-0 lead. 6-21 here to go in the game. On the corner now is Presley, guarded closely by Kukier. Looking to drive into the middle, not there. Back up top to Salvador, taking advantage of Flacco and not able to hit it. Honig with the ball. Now Cody Sale taking it up. Cody taking his time at the top of the key. And a quick foul on Honig there. That one by Ryan Connor. So a little bit of a sloppy start as we've seen here from the Black Knights. This is not what we usually see from the right now. I've seen them. It's first. They're better than this. So Honig with it up top. Tries to force it into Zajac down low. Turnover there. Out on the wing is Presley. The pop-up jumper is good. Great shot there. He created space with Black. Like I said, that might be a mismatch. Honig this time able to force it to Chris. Ethan drives in, kicks it out to the corner, and Flacco off on the three. Now Stanford coming the other way. Guarded closely by Charlie Honig, almost gets it. Back up top is Salvador. Finds Presley on the wing. Staples playing really tight defense right now. There goes Salvador, kicks it out to the corner, and Connors hits a corner three. They're back behind that five. That was quick, just like that. They're in. Honig taking it up slow, facing pressure up top. 
Gear with it on the wing. To the corner is Sale. Back to Sale. Now Zajac in the corner. Forces it around. That'll be Clacko on the drive. He'll lose it. Greenwich, excuse me, Stanford ball. Clacko had a good look there. A couple defenses in the way, though. Maybe should have. Referee substitutions. Smith comes in now for two years, so we're seeing a bit of a different pattern as well. But it's Udell and Hollywood. Presley now with it up top. Kicks it to the big man, Nana. Connors bullying his way in against Udell. The board by Nana, the putback, and one! A monster play there from the 6 7 center, Christopher Nana. Now Stanford has the lead. Possible opportunity. Advance to three right now. A great play offensive board. We'll see what he can do at the line. And you saw Ryan Connors trying to take advantage of his smaller matchup. Getting in. And again, the 6 7 Nana getting the board, putting it up. The free throw is good. The lead now three for the Knights. Zajac trapped in the corner, able to get it out to Udell. That's that height to the advantage there. And now Presley on the break, going towards it and slams! Let's talk about that bounce now. We saw it there. A good one by Presley, their best player. Udell pushing it to the corner, out to Hill, and a corner three there. So Staples hits him right back, bringing the lead back to two. A great one there from Holland, and we'd love to see it. Connors now the top of the key. The left wing is Salvador, a deep three, and is good. That one from about 25. So Smith now with it in the backcourt. Facing high pressure from the Knights, and a turnover there. Going the other way, gets it down low to Salvador, and he's in for two with the easy layup. The Knights out to a quick 15 8 lead. 13 to go in the first. And a good time out there by Goldshore. It was a just in just a matter of seconds. I mean, the terrible start for Stanford has completely faded away. He said it was going to happen. Maybe he's going to go And look, basketball is a game of runs. You're going to see runs on both sides. There was Stanford. So now Coach Goldshore has to get a hold of his team and see if they can fight back. So we have seen a lot of production so far from the Ajax, but also the other one that the opportunities. And uh, interesting, we're also seeing a little bit of a small lineup here, despite the size of the Black Knights. Will Holloman, Cody Sale, Adam Udell, and Caleb Smith. All six feet or under, really, when you got multiple six-footers on the Black Knights. I mean, yeah, your second biggest guy out there is Smith. So Caleb Smith will inbound it for the record. Record set up in a press break, and Stanford has been pressing them really high beyond half court. So that's Staples has to be ready to deal with that pressure. And that's how they trap Sajak. You can see a timeout be called if they do that again. Holloman with it on the right wing, forces it down low. Now Cody with it on the left wing. Gets it to Udell in the corner. Udell trapped, looking for Caleb Smith. And Smith fights for it. Now Cody on the left wing, driving in. Cross contact and one for Cody Sam. The top move there, the one-two step, and finishing with the right hand. Wreckers now only down five. for a three-point play. He's so dangerous to be on the arc, but that's when defenders wow. underestimate him, and he can really drive to the paint and get buckets. Quick sub up here. Blacko into the game. Cody misses the free throw. He doesn't often miss those. 86% for your nine this season. Stepper taking it slow. Salvatore up top. To the left wing is Connors. Back up top, Presley with it. Guarded closely by Holloman. Winchester, top of the key, looking to drive in, and back up top for the Knights. Close defense from Sale, they're not really letting them get in the park. Salvatore taking control, Cody Sale pest on defense. Here's Winchester, 
top of the key. He'll drive right. And a steal by Caleb Smith. A great defensive possession for the record. And I talked to him. He got a little bit of upset when I said this, but it's kind of that desert rock play style. Will Holloman now with it on the right side. He gets fouled. Another foul there for the Knights. And the Wreckers will have it down low. So another substitution here, Charlie Honig in for Bill Holloman. He'll take it out out of bounds. Finds Cody in the corner. He's trapped here. Pushes it to Zajac. Gets it to Smith with his wide open layup. Nobody around him in case to Smith. Now Salvatore with it. Guarded high by Honig. Looking for the screen. Won't get it. Makes a crossover right. The floater good. And that one you really just can't stop. A great shot there from Salvatore. Now Honig pushing the pace. Gets it to Smith up top. Back to Honig. He'll look for Cody on the right wing. Cody wanting to force it into Smith, not pushing it. Smith now gets it in the middle. Back out to Honig up top. He wanted the three. Gets it to Zajac, and Zajac loses it. Able to recover. Blocked by Nana. Charlie Honig now the top of the key. In and out. Caleb Smith. The there he is. Like I just said, Nana's got gets those rebounds. I told him that he was kind of that desperate play style. He got a little upset with me because he knew how good that was Robert was on this. Presley with it now at the left wing. Up top to Salvador. Salvador makes a move on Flacco, drives in, blocked by Zajac. Zajac pushes in, a turnover there. Stanford coming up with it, and a missed layup, Zajac the board. Now another turnover, and the layup good from Winchester. That's just some slot mistakes there. Got to take it a little bit slower, Zajac. Slowing it down for the record. A whirlwind of turnovers there. Charlie with it up top. The pass missed. Now Presley forcing it the other way. And Cody Sale a turnover. Great heads up defense from Sale. They lose possession, but they still were able to stop it. Little bit swapped by both teams right now. Got to take a breath, get it under control, and maintain possession. That'll be the Knights ball down low. Salvatore taking it out. We'll get it to Nana on the right wing. He's only got under 10 seconds. And another turnover for the Knights. Covered by Kukier. Now Cody Sale pushing it. A deep three from Cody and no good to close out the quarter. That one was from another zip code. Not going to be able to fall though. And the record's will be down by five. It's going to be So 19 to 14, your final score of the first quarter. Jarvis, what have you seen so far from the record? Well, they were able to establish some sort of run for game at the start, but after that, the first couple of minutes, they couldn't find any stable playing some of the good defense, but it's where they're getting to the paint that Staples is succeeding. Taylor Smith had to be a fast on the record. On the other side of things, Stanford is kind of just doing everything. They can, uh, they can work with every single one of Staples' mistakes. It's been the last all games, so we'll see if that's happening. It's interesting, Staples are playing really down and dirty. They got Caleb Smith and Chris Ajax trying to work it down low. Everything's running through that middle. Whether you got Caleb Smith on the free throw line, or you got Chris Ajax on the block, they're running three outside and two inside. And all relative, it's been effective for the record. Somewhat slow start for Ajax. What you got to remind is the idea of gravity on the offense. Absolutely. How many, how many defenders has is on her? Yeah, exactly. So the Knights will have it here at the backboard. Salvatore guarded by Honig at the top. To the left wing is Presley. He'll force to the middle. Again to the left wing is Salvador. Drives cross court. The pull up jumper short off the front iron. Cody Sale now up top to Clacko on the left wing. A little bit of a zone defense here for the Knights. Cody Sale in the corner. Finds Chris Ajak on the post. Chris double team, trying to make space for himself. Finds Honig, cross court. Honig, the lead three-pointer is good. Two three-point attempts and six points for Honig. He's feeling it tonight. And Honig right back 
on to the defensive side of things. Up on Salvatore. Presley now with it on the left wing. Finds Salvatore, who goes for the deep three. Bounces off the back iron, rebounded Zajac. Zajac now pushing it to the corner is Glacko. That one off. Zajac the board just off. And Kukier, another offensive rebound. He puts it up. That one no good. That'll be Dupree with the rebound. The Knights taking it slow here as Winchester will bring it up the left side. We haven't seen much of Presley on the offensive end for Stanford. Let's see more of him as we progress in this game. Dupree at the top of the key. Now the deep three on the left wing for Presley. That one way off. Grabbed by Glacko, pushing it up to Honig. The Euro stepping right through contact. A tough finish by Charlie Honig. Listen, Charlie is going to need to get the ball more tonight. Already eight points more than he's had so far this season. It looks like Charlie a little bit injured on that play. The left knee seems to be bothering him with him. You see how that progresses. Now the deep two-pointer from Nana, no good. The rebound, back to Nana up top. Another deep two. Again, the Knights get the board. The two offensive boards in this possession as Presley has it on the left wing. Presley now driving in against Zajac. A turnover there, grabbed by Honig. Honig is hurting this bad. Is the ball knocked out with Zach? This is so, so scary. This is the last one and a half top of the injuries. I'll leave that one back in September. And the knee he's hurting right now is actually the one he has a great So this is really, really alarming for the records. I hope he's going to be okay. That was not The story will keep you updated on as the game progresses. Udell now taking it up. So the records have possession. Gets it to Cody on the right wing. Cody finds Will in the middle. Now Kareem gets the loose ball. Cody back with it up top, getting pressured by the Knights. Finds Kareem. Kareem. Nice pass there. Works it into Kukier and finishes it too. A good dish there. You don't often see Kareem in this early. Abu Zaid with a nice assist. Now Presley with it. Guarded on the left wing by Cody, a deep three, no good, Kareem with the board. And the crowd is getting hyped, we love to see him out there, and record stands. Now pushing it, Kareem with it in the middle, finds Holloman in the right corner, Holloman out of the game! Well, that's a great shot to have, two assists, two possessions for the records, and that's a timeout. And I said it, Jarvis, basketball is a game of run. Staples now up 24-19, 4.30 to play in this second quarter. Score, they're going to take in the second of the black eyes. And since we gave up, got the second quarter, three points. Black Knights have been one. On the other side, Staples with the tenth. Really strong possession there. Might be attributed to D. John Dylan Curran, who's sitting on the sideline with the records. And you can never go wrong with Dylan Curran on the sideline. I don't know if any team in history has lost a game with him. I don't know, maybe he's a lucky charm. Maybe there's some mystical elements. I'm not sure. We're happy to have him as the Staples now out to a commanding five-point lead halfway through this second quarter. Jarvis, you mentioned it a little bit earlier. We saw minutes from some guys that don't usually get minutes. Kareem saw Ryland almost check in. You see Holloman getting a number of minutes. Seems like that injury from Gavin Rothenberg really shaking things up. Exactly. What I was going to say when I mentioned other guys who step up. I generally wasn't talking about Kareem. I generally wasn't talking about Will. But these performances are only adding the cherry on top of the record performance tonight so far. But a long way to go. Still over 20 minutes to play. Plenty of time. Anything can happen. Five out for the records right now is Nor, Zajac, Udell, Clacko, and Holland. Presley with it. Guarded closely by Norley. Out to the left wing is Winchester. Again guarded by Norley. Winchester trying to work something. Nothing there. And it looks like they'll call a check foul on Norley. Talk to the defensive specialist for this record squad. We saw him coming in against Danbury to try and shut him down. And this is really what he does best. Has almost a block on game on the season. And he's strong. 
Savannah will take it out. Up top is Salvatore. Guarded by Clacco. Now to the left wing is Presley. The handoff to Salvatore. Salvatore trying to drive left. Getting clumped. Out to the corner, the three for Winchester. Long rebound, Stanford. And a charge foul there drawn by Norley. Stanford now with the press as Staples has it in their own territory. Cody Sale now with it on the left wing. Finds Glacko in the corner. Now to Zajac, the post through, baby hook is good. What a play there. The spin and the bucket for his first of the game. Salvatore now with it on the left wing. Lassiter with it now in the corner. Kicks it to Presley. Presley drives baseline. Finds Nana at the elbow. The elbow jumper good by Nana. Now Stanford seems to find some life here. They have it within five with just about three to go here. Cody now with it. Facing a high pressure from the Black Knights. Now in the corner is Clacco. Back up top. Top of the key, Udell. On the left side is Clacco forcing it into Zajac. He'll find Kukier in the middle. Kukier, the fadeaway, baby jumper is good. A soft touch there. And man, are the Rikers working the paint right now? It seems all of their buckets are assisted or come from there. Salvador with it at the top of the key. Finds Lassiter on the left wing. And a turnover there. Udell with it. Gets it to Cody Sale. And Cody with a nice finish. No turnovers in the second quarter. What would you like to see? So Lassiter with it, he'll give it to Salvador, who takes his time up top. The screen from Nana. Salvatore, now next it to Nana. Nana, the mismatch on Cody Sale. He'll drive down the left side and over Cody Sale is Christopher Nana for two. Not much you can do as Sale there. Let's see. So Cody now with it at the top. Gives it to you, Dow on the left wing. Udell looking for Clacko. Clacko drives baseline. He'll find Cody in the right corner. And Cody draws the contact there. They'll call the foul on it looks like Salvatore. And Cody's so skilled. Yeah, he really is. One of the more skilled players on this team. Right up there with him. Sam Clacko, who hasn't seen the ball down against yet. Salvatore. We'll see what he can do. He steps up in big minutes. Honig with the inbound here on the baseline. Finds Zajac up top. Zajac forces it to the paint. Now back up to Cody. Zajac on the right wing. A three-point attempt off the front iron. I don't love that look there. Had Flacco in the open. The corner open for three. Salvatore now the quick jumper against Honig. That one short. Cody with it. Record's up by seven. Here go. Now Honig on the left side. The cross-court pass. Now back to Cody. A turnover there by Cody as Presley pushes it down the floor. Presley, the Euro 1 2. Good defensive play by Honig. That'll be Stanford's ball under the basket. Not much limping going on on that one. So Presley will take it out for the Black Knights on the left side of the hoop. He'll find Winchester in the corner. Winchester working his way back up top. You see this defense from Udell. He's trying to force him to his left. Winchester makes a move, goes right, and a soft fade floater, no good. Cody pushes the pace. Zajac now with it. Going in the post, and a foul in one for Zajac. There's nothing he is just that guy. Not only has the height, we have less to Bring down the body to make a play, but also has those skills. Driving from the left side of the court, finishing with the right hand. A beautiful move from Zajac as he'll look to finish off the three-point play. Yes, Zajac sir. hits that one. The lead now 10 for the Wreckers. 33-23 with 54.6 to go in the second quarter. Zach, this might be the 
biggest staple suit section I've ever seen at a home game. I think we got beach night. They're all in there. Amazing suits, Hawaiian shirts. Presley with it, guarded by Norley, and they'll call another check foul on Norley. That'll be his second one tonight. We're gonna have to watch out. If he stays. So Connors will take it out for the Black Knights. He'll find Nana in the left corner, guarded closely by Zajac. Nana seems to be looking for the three. Loses his dribble and stripped by Zajac. Great defensive play there. Ryland comes up with it and the foul on Nana. No, they'll say a jump ball. How about the big guy making the steal? Back on the court. So quick subs here. Coach Goldshore seems to get be getting everybody in and seems to be paying off. Sage, uh, excuse me, Kukier will inbound this one to Honig. As the record looks like the look for the last shot with 35.6 to go in this one. This is the starting lineup that we saw in the first quarter back out here. Cody with it on the right wing. Now Zajac up high, top of the key. Organized play. Staples looks like they're running a triangle formation, just trying to waste time. Under 15 to go. Now Honig with it up top. Now the clock hits 10. Looks like Cody will go for the last shot. Five, four, Cody driving right. A two-step blocked, and that will end out the quarter. As Kukier came up with the late ball, but was able to finish. So at the end of the first half, Staples up 33-23. A strong start for the Wreckers. And you love to see it. I mean, they outscored their opponent by over 14 points there. Really, really strong. Absolutely, and a really impressive performance. We love to see it from the Wreckers. We're going to send it back to the studio. Stay with us, 8 minutes and 48 seconds, till this exciting third quarter gets underway.
on the right wing. Honig nearing half court. Kicks it off to Kukier. The full court pass as Flacco drives baseline. Now out to Co now out to Zajac on the left wing. Full court pass to Cody. Cody no good from the right wing. Rebounded by Presley. Presley will take it up now. Pushing the pace. Nana with it on the left elbow. Guarded by Flacco. A mismatch there. He'll drive left and good over Flacco easily. Yeah, it's tough. Step. Uh, Chris was stepping in, but it was just a second too late before Nana got the bucket up. Now Honig with it at the top of the key. He'll drive left, kick out to Clacco. Again, the baseline drive. Back to Honig on the left. And a beautiful dive to Ethan Kukier on the right block for Twist. What a set of Clacco driving down the baseline, draws three defenders out to Honig, and back to Kukier in the paint. Now Stanford with it, Presley on the left wing. He'll bring it up top to the right wing as Connors. Gets it to Salvatore. Salvatore, the baseline drive, kicks out for three and good from Winchester. A deep one from the left side. There's the first points here. The Black Knights, they're down by just seven. Now Honig with it. A turnover there. Going the other way is Presley bullies Kukier and gets the layup to go. Switching left to right. Two minutes into the second half and the Reds have cut their lead to five. Now Honig with it in the backcourt, guarded closely by Presley. He'll lose possession again. And Stanford will have the easy layup there as Presley goes for the finish. A quick timeout by Coach Goldshore. The record is now only up three, as opposed to ten, just two minutes earlier. Zach, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm just getting that deja vu. Exactly what we saw in the first quarter. We saw Staples get a bucket, maybe, and then quickly things started to turn. Staples needs to reset exactly what they did last time in this situation. Because they went on a 10 by the end of the half. And can I say, Jarvis, we saw a little.
little bit of depth. It worked. Maybe we need to see it again. I mean, mixing things up looked like it just helped keep this team really fresh. The starters played amazing after coming back in. Some of the bench guys were giving really productive minutes. We see Caleb Smith check in right here. It'll be interesting to see what Coach Dave Goldshore does going into the second half. This is record now only holding on to a three-point lead. Yeah, Udell and Smith here off the bench. They're ready to go. So Udell will take it up quickly to Sajak, who's now on the left side. Hooking the defender, a left floater from the baseline. No good, he was guarded by Nana. Just rattles out there. Now Salvador coming the other way. The spin move fade away. Jumper is good over Caleb Smith. Ball just like that, so he took the driveway. Hit that top right corner of the basket square, and that's he does. Udell now with it. Gets it to Zajac on the left side. Back to Udell, top of the key. Guarded closely now by Presley. Udell will find Placco. Placco now with momentum at the top of the key. Gets it to Cody on the baseline. Smith now with it. Again, the top of the key. Working into the paint. Kicks out to Placco. The right corner three is good. And there he is, the freshman Sam Placco for his first of the night. Udell playing closely on Salvatore. Now they get it into the middle. That's Nana, the turnaround jumper short. Zajac the board. for Ejai Presley as he shoved Caleb Smith after the play. Yep, this was looking for him. It's a concern, but he didn't hear the call at first. And Presley looks heated right now as coach has to hold him back a little bit. But it looks like the Stanford coach isn't too happy. That's Daniel Larter. Flacco with the technical free throw misses that one. So the Staples lead, they're up four, 38-34 your score with 4.55 to go in the third quarter. Believe it or not, Zach, that's Flacco's first miss from the free throw line all year. It's the second one. Kind of like Emmanuel quickly with those free throw numbers. I love IQ. You dealt with it in the backcourt, guarded by Presley who stays in. Now Cody with it on the left side. Chris Zajac sets the screen. Cody with it, top of the key, loses his dribble. Now a little bit stuck. And the turnover there, no, they'll say Staples will retain possession. It's knocked out of bounds, close defense from Winchester. Good play by Smith, lock it out. As Caleb Smith will inbounds the ball. Looking for either Udell or Flacco in the backcourt. No, he forces it to Zajac in the right corner. Zajac now with it on the perimeter. Udell near the logo, drives right, forces it into Zajac. Zajac on the post, guarded by Nana, trying to go to work. Gets a one-two step, loses balance, but gets his own board. And it looks like they'll call a jump ball on that. Zajac got that one. Both teams had their hands on it for maybe a quarter of a second, but that was it. I think Zajac had the possession there. I agree. So now Flacco with it on the baseline. Bounds to Cody. Now Caleb Smith, the top of the key, forces to Flacco the right three. Good. Two in a row, and he's back. He starts off a little slow, but he's going to find his rhythm eventually with six points on the board all in the second half now. He's feeling it. Presley, the left side, tight D by Udell. Now at the top of the key, looking for Nana. Guarded by Zajac. The step back by Nana is good on the left corner. A deep two from Nana to pull the lead back within six for the record. Two big men playing around the arc on offense and defense. And Smith now with momentum going down the left side. A right-handed finish as Smith gets the bucket. He's cooking tonight. That will be his sixth of the game. Now Salvador with it on the left side. Gets it back to Presley, the sophomore. The left screen as Presley goes right for an uncontested layup and misses it. Zajac with the board. Now pushing is Adam Udell the other way. Middle, not gonna dish it. Finds Cody on the left wing. Cody a deep, deep three. Staples now up 11. And just two minutes ago, we were saying how Staples needs to find their rhythm. And before you know it, they're up by 11. So Salvador with it at the top of the key. Gives it to Nana. A little bit laid back is Chris Zajac on the defense. Not giving him a ton of pressure. Wants him, tempting him to take that three. Now Salvatore with it on the left side. Trying to be forced left by Smith. He goes right. 
now goes back left. The jumper at the free throw line is good. A nice play by him to create space. He's averaging 10.9 a game. He's feeling good tonight. Cody now with it at the top of the key, guarded closely. Kicks it to Smith. Smith back to Udell at the top. Udell on the right side. Drives middle, finds Placco. Placco five feet out, and that one rattles off the front rim. The board by Caleb Smith, they'll call it a jump ball. So a nice offensive rebound there. I mean, I told you Sam Placco was dealing himself, but he almost did that one for the Logan. Feeling like Steph Curry a little bit. Also checking in for the Knights, Rodney Quick kick there as Staples up nine, 2.26 to go in this third quarter. Is Presley with it? Bringing the ball up, talking a little smack to Caleb Smith. Quarterback to quarterback. Presley now with it at the top of the key. Forces it to the right side is Salvatore. Salvatore into Nana. The ball stripped by Clacco. He'll push it to Cody. Cody finds Holloman in the corner. Holloman now back out to the left side. On the left wing is Cody Sim. Cody with the top of the key. Taking his time. Gets by Nana. Gives it to Kukier. Now Clacco on the right wing. High pass there, cross court, misses Holloman. As Holloman points to the scoreboard. Taunting Winchester. Motion's getting high in this one. Student section right next to Holloman. They're eating this one up. As Winchester will take the ball up. Now Salvatore with it, guarded by Smith. Salvatore, top of the key, calling for a screen. He'll dump it off to Taylor. Taylor at the top of the key. To the left wing is Salvatore, and a contested three there over Will Holloman. The highlight player for the Black Knights tonight, Salvatore feeling himself. Caleb Smith with momentum at the top of the key. Gives it to Kukier on the left sideline. Back to Smith in the middle, and the layup no good. Rebounded by Dupree. Give and go there, nearly succeeding. Now Salvatore drives down the left side. He'll take it back. Now on the left wing, deep perimeter is Salvatore. Smith on the defense is close. Out to the right side is Winchester, then gets it to Dupree. Dupree will get, looks like a foul call, a little bit of a chippy foul called on Caleb Smith. We've seen those so far. The refs have been really tight on those calls. And that one will go against Smith, who's floating. And Nana coming back is Lassister. So Salvatore with it. He'll inbounds to Taylor. Now Winchester with it. To the corner is Winchester. He'll drive back to Nana. Salvatore, the drive down the left baseline is good. A beautiful move there to pull the lead within four. We see he checks alternating. Zach versus Stanford. Then it's Staples. Now we're back in that Stanford time. Zajac with it on the right wing. He'll look for the cross court pass to Cody. Tipped by Salvatore. That'll be Staples' ball on the baseline. Salvatore giving a couple of flaps to that student section. They're getting them a little rowdy. As I said, this game, we see it coming up before our eyes. Cody now with it in the left corner. Clamps from Salvatore. Cody with it, driving left. He'll draw a ton of contact. No call from the refs there as Nana driving down the left side on the other way. Loose ball here, retained by Stanford, and Salvatore ends up with it at the top of the key. He's staring only in the eyes right now. Salvatore on the left side, guarded by Kukier, trying to force his way right. The step back by Salvatore off the front iron. Cody with the last second attempt, no good. And that closes out the quarter. A four point lead for Staples, 47 43, with eight minutes to play. A common theme for the records. Every single time a uh, quarter ends, it's always Cody Sale chucking that left shot. Yeah, and saw a little bit of a drop off there for the records. They were up 10 going into the third, now only up four. We'll see how they close this game. And Jarvis, talk about what happened last time. Because the records were up nine going into the fourth quarter. Another strong team against Danbury. They ended up losing that one. How can the Wreckers avoid a second loss in a row? Exactly. Stanford is not the same. Now, a couple of questions on losses. And they have to keep those that it looks like it's 47. I think Stanford is going to win this one. I don't see the reality that they lose five points.
middle is Kukier. Back up top is Honig. Klako. Honig now forcing it to Klako on the left side. Honig back up top to Klako on the left wing. Klako with it into the middle is Kukier. Out to Cody. And Cody, hard foul by Dupree. And Cody, you know, you may have been a hard foul. Always good to sell it. And Cody does a great job of selling. There we go. Honing now with at the top of the key. Gets it to Zajac on the free throw stripe. Zajac driving left and that one's good over Coach Fernanda. Now Salvatore with it. On his hip is Honing. Salvatore on the left side gives it to Dupree. Dupree back up top to Nana. Nana guarded by Zajac. He'll hand it off to Winchester as Winchester taking his time at the top of the key. A whistle here. Looks like they will call an off-ball foul on number 24. That's Sam Clacco for the records. And Stanford will have it on the baseline. Hello. So that'll be Salvatore inbouncing it. He'll look to get it to Presley, it seems. As Presley makes a nice cut to the basket and one on the foul from Cody. Slips by Cody in a beautiful move for the uncontested layup. So that'll be Presley trying to finish off the three-point play. Again, 49-45. Stanford will be within one possession if he can knock down this one. And he does. Now it's close. I just said a second ago they weren't going to be able to come back. I mean, my words. You dealt with it. Just across half court on the left side. Stanford looking to double team. Cody now on the right side trying to drive right. The tough drive from Cody. No foul again. Bit of contact there. Nothing called. Presley with the beautiful Euro stepping in and on the right side. And what an asshole he is. I mean, he's the starting quarterback for the Black Knights football team. And here's the best player on the court most of the time. Playing basketball. Smith will inbound it here to Udell. The record's only up one right now, 6.37 to go in the fourth. Udell with it at the top of the key, the pace moving fast now. Udell at the top, looking for Clacko on the left side. Back to Udell, Cody now on the right. They're working through Udell up top. They get it to Caleb Smith down low, Smith directing traffic. He'll get it back out to Cody. Almost takes a heat check there. Zajac in the middle, double teamed. Gets it back out to Clacco on the left wing. Clacco will bring it up top. Clacco cross court to Cody by the logo. Now Clacco with it. Udell on the left side. Trying to force it in the middle. Can't seem to find it. They'll get Chris Zajac on the left post. Zajac, a beautiful spin move. And blocked by Salvatore, but they'll call a foul on that one. Zajac will go to the line for tip. Down there, Staples. Big two shots for Chris Zajac. None of them will be here for the offensive rebound. Zajac has the opportunity to put them up by three. Zajac here on the first one. Six set. And Zajac overall, a good free throw shooter across the season at Jarvis. 68% of the season so far. He's added to that total tonight. Hits the first, the lead now 50-48 for the Wreckers. 5.52 to go in the fourth. The second one is long, rebounded by the Wreckers. That'll be out to Clacko on the right wing. Clacko the stands up and points him as he's happy to see how he's... So a loose ball here. Kukier diving on the ground to get it. And it looks like Kukier dived out of bounds. Little shaken up. That'll be Stanford possession on their own baseline. Stepping up there, pulling out to Flacco for the shot he hit. He's doing a good shot tonight. He's had an amazing second and half. Already nine points. So Salvatore with it. On his hip is Caleb Smith. 
top of the key. He'll get it to the right side is Winchester. Now to Nana, the top of the key. The handoff to Presley. Presley forcing it to the left side. That's Salvatore. Down low and a hard move there by Nana. Cody Sale draws the charge. So a nice physical play there from Cody Sale. Coach Goldshore's got to love that one because he is an all-defensive coach. And a few charges for Staples tonight. He's got to be happy with that. Because Cody Sale will have it now. No pressure from Stanford. He'll easily cross half court. Kukier now with it. Gets to Clacko on the top of the key. Sale on the left wing. Back to Clacko. And he'll get it to Zajac at the top of the key. One, two, pass back to Flacco. A beautiful one, two play there as Flacco finishes the uncontested layup for two. What a half he's had. Breakers up by seven now. Presley with it. Guarded closely by Caleb Smith. Presley on the left side drives left over Caleb. An air ball, but the rebound, Christopher Nana. To the left corner is Salvatore. That one long. Again, rebounded by Stanford. Now Winchester with a corner three he hits. Now the main player in the first shot, Staples, first two times in these first two quarters, has been Salvatore. He's been able to find his half in this quarter. And the other players stepping up in the first league and Winchester. And what Salvador is, is not only a scorer, but a floor general. He takes the ball up, he pumps, pumps his team down. You know, he's what they need, whether it shows on the stat sheet or not. Staples holding on for dear life with a four-point lead. 55-51, 4.19 to go in the final quarter. And I think on the other side of the ball, Staples has to keep out some special. That black and Zay Jack connection, he can that empty hard connection if you will. Big man down low, and the guy who is shooting up top. So it'll be Staples' possession. Kukier will take it out and look for a press from the Greenwich Knights. Take that back. They will not press. Staples will be able to get it easily across half court as Cody Sale will take it up. Big adjustments for the Black Knights right now. They're down by four with just four minutes to go. And it looks like full court man defense for the Black Knights. Cody crosses half court with ease. And the turnover there, Presley gets it. Presley the spin move and a beautiful layup uncontested for Presley. That's the athleticism now we talk about the easy bucket there. Zajac now with it on the left side trying to cross half court and he'll give it back to Cody. Cody on the left side guarded again by Presley. Cody picks up his dribble, now gets it to Flacco at the top of the key. Flacco to the right side is Smith. Smith will take a three, that one way short. Rebounded by Presley. Presley pushing it up to Nana. Nana will kill, draw the contact. Miss the layup, but he'll go to the line for two. Smith fouls. Now he has an opportunity here. They're down by two. That's the night he's just the Christopher Nana in the line. line. Two shots in his veins. So Nana will take two here. His team down two. He has a chance to tie this one up. The Staples student section getting loud here. Build up nicely, I have to say. You might see this many fans of this uh, Staples football game. Uh -huh. It's impressive. Nana here for the second. That one good. The game all tied up at 55. Full court pressure here from Stanford as Udell has it in his own territory. Crossing half court, now gets it to Cody on the left wing. Back to Udell in the corner. Udell trying to find the middle. Salvatore with some close defending contact Flacco. Flacco now on the right side, gives it to Zajac in the post. Zajac working Nana on the right post. Goes up with it, and good! Tough finish for Chris Zajac there to put the records back up to. And up and under, and a toilet bowl as it finds the net. Now the Wreckers have the lead, just under three to go. Presley with it, Dell trying to force him right. Now Salvatore at the top of the key. Guarded closely by Cody. Gives it off to Winchester. Winchester driving right, the underhand finish, no good, rebounded by Kukier. And a big one there for Kukier. 
Staples pushing it. Cody now going down the right side. A one-two step, no good. A loose ball, they'll say it's off Stanford. The Wreckers will retain possession on their own baseline. Excuse me, on the Stanford baseline, up to 235 to play in the fourth. St. Jack kept them in, kept them in on that possession. You dealt with the inbounds. He'll get it to Zajac. Zajac almost crosses half court. Now, Flacco with it up top. Flacco rejects the Zajac screen. Now to Kukier. On the right side is Udell. Feeding it down to Zajac on the post. Zajac to walk again, and that one's strong. He had the look he wanted, but wasn't able to get it to go. Salvador now taking it up. The spin move creating so much space. Salvador going against Chris and a nasty block by Zajac. Now Nana, the 15-foot floater is good. So Kukier, the quick inbounds here. That'll be Udell with it on the left side. Gets it to Cody. Cody taking his time. The Wreckers all tied up. 57, a minute 40 to play. Cody driving right. And a tough fall there for Cody. They'll call it no foul. A clean block by Salvatore, and Staples will retain possession. Zach, it looks like he had all ball there, and that's what the rest of the team out here. Minute 42 to play, Devin. 57, 57. Couldn't ask for a better ending than this. You could not. Both teams have four fouls, so it doesn't look like you're getting that bonus or double bonus at least. And Staples will have possession. It'll be interesting to see if they come out in a press or not. Does Stanford? Will Stanford play up high? Will they play laid back? You know, we've seen that press work both ways for Stanford this game. Sometimes it's just really effective and able to force the turnover. Other times, the Staples is able to blow by them. They cause a defensive breakdown for Stanford. So it'll be exactly. interesting to see what coach decides. Exactly. Not that foul to go play a little bit more conservative. The game is tied. This is one both teams would really love to have. That'll be Udell inbounding under the basket. The five for the Wreckers. Udell at the one. Flacco at the two. Cody the three. Zajac at the five. And Kukier at the four. That full press that we were talking about we see from Stanford right now. Cody gets it under the basket, a clean block by Salvatore. What out of bounds right away, a quick possession if you've ever seen it. Again, Udell in bounds it. He'll give it to Cody. Cody again blocked. Almost the rebound by Nana. Almost a bait there. They let Cody get the pass, then turn right around and swatted it out of the air. Presley taking it slow. Now to Salvatore on the left side. On his hip is Cody. Salvatore finds space in the middle. Driving left, the underhand finish, no good. Rebounded Nana. Nana now on the right perimeter. And a whistle here. A timeout by Stanford. The game still tied at 57. A minute 37 to go in this one. I like that timeout. The whole ice car, a touch bucket here. And make the world look different. And a fantastic defensive possession by Stanford on that last play. You saw Cody get two good looks and get blocked twice. Really impressive. No foul, which would have sent Cody to the line. Now Stanford has the ball in their hands. The game is in their hands. And somebody who's really, really productive on the end of the court today is Christopher. And he's got so many rebounds. Really kept the minutes. But look at Nana, 6'7", he's a monster of a man at 185. That's a big size at the high school level. He doesn't look skinny even though he's 185. And he is just, he's really been impressive on the boards today. And the thing is, he's not bossing out. He's almost coming in from the side like you can see him. One of those NBA grabs where you're grabbing the ball with one hand and smacking it with two in the air. Coach Goldshore here, Caleb Smith in the game instead of Cody Sale. So the five for Staples, Udell, Flacco, Smith. And the only two seniors, Zajac and Kukier. Anna will 
have it on his own baseline. It'll be Salvatore actually taking it out. So he'll get it to Nana in the right corner. Up top to Winchester, back to Salvatore. It's an open look there for Salvatore on the right hand. Now Winchester, top of the key, forces it to Nana. Deep perimeter on the left side. Trying to get it inside to Presley as Presley takes it back out. Presley now taking his time just about the top of the key. His possession is lasting 30 seconds and they haven't even taken a shot. Presley driving right on Caleb Smith. Nothing there, the fadeaway from Presley, in and out. The rebound by Connors, up hand good. A huge shot there for the Knights. Save the lead. Stanford up by two. Now the ball on the left side, poked by Presley. And a hard foul there by Placco. Placco almost tackles Presley, and that should be a special type of foul. Yep, no, they will. They'll call. But essentially, what happened there, Presley was on a breakaway. Flacco intentionally tackled him, and so that's a special type of foul. Presley will have one free throw, and they'll retain possession. The first is good. Stanford up three, and he will have one more free throw to go. That's a Jai Presley with the huge play. It's good. Still keeping it at a one possession game. But Stanford retains possession. So your score right now, 60 Stanford, 57 Staples. 41.2 to play in this one. That's plenty of time for two possessions. But it's Stanford who's going to get the inbound here before any. So Salvatore will inbounds it. He'll get it to Nana. Now Winchester at the top of the key. Inadvertent whistle here. They'll stop play and reset. Man's not happy with that. It seems like the scoreboard had a buzz. The players were just stopped playing for a second. The ref didn't call anything though. And interesting, it looks like Ryland Morley may come in for the substitution here instead of Flacco. Now we saw this last game. Staples was down by a couple, and it was Holloman and Norley who were checked into the game for that defensive prowess. And what you see, Flacco on the edge of the bench, the second Staples get the ball, you got to guess they're going to get Flacco back in because he's the three-point shooter. Assuming Staples can get a stop on this one, they'll be down three in need of a three-point play. I mean, listen, you've got a couple guys here who haven't missed a three-point shot all game. Flacco hasn't missed one in the second half. Charlie hasn't missed one all game. Holloman hasn't missed one all game. And, and of course, you know, Sales might not be if he has it. So it'll be, it looks like Catco. Nope, they'll give it to Nana for the inbounds. No, they'll switch it again. Presley will inbound the ball on the stable side of Halford. Dell will be our ball Zach, there's that 
first foul. Yeah, we saw the four had it on the back corner there. They tried to foul on the unit, couldn't get it off. Now they just wasted five seconds. Salvatore will inbound it right in front of us. Udell will be guarding him, and Stanford will take another timeout. So it looks like Coach Goldshore had the same mindset you did. The only thing is exactly what I just mentioned. You just wasted five precious seconds there that you could have That's true. in this game. That's true. So Staples, 25 seconds to play. Stanford has possession on their side of the court. But getting the ball in balance has been really difficult these last two times. That's where the turnover came from from Caleb Smith. Stanford was having trouble getting it in balance. They tried to lob it up to Salvatore, and Smith got the steal. So you have to make sure if you're Stanford that you can get this one in balance and try and extend this to a two-point, two-possession game. Exactly. They're just not going to have anybody open at all times. Covered four corners of the court. Have a guy open. Don't let Staples foul. That's exactly what they want. And they will keep Dorley on the floor, the defensive specialist, along with Caleb Smith. Zajac at the five. Adam Udell will take over at the one, and they will keep on Kukier at the two. Watch Nana down low. Zajac's not on that match. So Presley will inbounds the ball. Looking for Nana. No, and Stanford able to keep it on their own court. They got to get across that court. A foul called on Caleb Smith. And that's a close call. Caleb Smith coming in from behind. Tried to knock the ball out of Nana's hand. A wild turn of events there. The ball was loose. Ultimately, Caleb Smith ends up fouling. You'll get a one and one here with Salvatore shooting those free throws. Drive right, just couldn't, couldn't get it. Lost the ball. Stanford comes up with it. 
now you got Presley with a one and one. Stanford up two right now, Jarvis. So if Presley hits the first one, it's a three point game. If he misses, it's a live ball. Then if he hits the second free throw, it becomes a two possession game. Sinks the first one, rattles around the rim. Up three is Stanford. 4.5 seconds to play. So even if he misses this one, Staples has 4.5 seconds to get it cross court and go for the tie. Zach, don't forget, they still need a rebound. It looks like, okay, it won't be a problem. It's the Black Knights backing up. They're playing in the back court. It's also Black who stands. The biggest in. That one painful. They'll give it to Cody. Cody, three, two, one. Oh, he'll get the foul there. And a foul from Christopher Nana, but Cody doesn't finish the three. That'll send Cody to the line for three free throws. 1.1 seconds to go. Zach, this completely changes things. A foul there was the worst of a better two for the lack of a better term, idiotic, all right? He makes the first two and has the opportunity to get his own rebound and put it in quick. That completely changes Staples' chances. I'm questioning what he was thinking. Either way, they need to make one of these three. The first one up and long. Mike goes it out. He has to make these. He needs this one. He can't have a chance without this one. The second free throw is good. All right, so what Staples needs, Jarvis, they need Cody to miss this free throw. They need to get a three-pointer. We'll see how that's possible. It's another substitution here. Stanford trying to bring the height. Ryan Connors will come in for Max Katko. It doesn't even give him a chance. Goes right through. Oh, that's it. That's the game. No, nope, and it looks like that's that's not the game. Cody, so Cody airballs that free throw. Now Stanford with it, 1.1 seconds on the clock. Staples would need a miracle. It'll be Salvatore inbounding the ball, Zajac on him. Staples has got to figure out how to get on their men. The inbounds here to Nana. A foul, but the refs will call it a game. A heartbreaking loss for the Staples Records, 63-60, your final score. That one hurts. Yes, it does. That one hurts. We have that five-point lead going into the fourth quarter. They have ten point, eleven point lead. Where's Ripon? Third quarter, and then three to close down. It, it's tough. In back-to-back -to -back games where you have that lead, something, something has to change. The big loss of Gavin Rothenberg definitely showed in this game. I mean, the guard stepped, stepped up, but it wasn't in the first quarter. Yeah, but the small guys played well. You know, you can't criticize them at all. Some guys had really valuable minutes. Ryland Norley had some great defensive possessions. Will made a big impact. All those guys played a great game at the end of the day. They couldn't get it done. That'll be the second loss in a row for Staples after starting off the undefeated season 7-0. And now it's time to reset. We take some time here. Next game for Staples is that difficult as this one. Stanford's a good team. You can't overlook that. It's not like they came in here as 20-point underdogs. No, right? no. Stanford, a respectable program, but again, a really tough loss for Staples. They'll be in the gym early tomorrow morning, and that will wrap things up for us today. For Devin Jarvis, the entire crew, I'm Zach Grody. Thank you for tuning in. WWPT. Nice job, boys. Nice job. Well done.